about to meet personally, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Rahul Bardwaj. I'm President and CEO of the Toronto Community Foundation and the very proud co-chair of the TO 2015 Ignite program. It's my pleasure to welcome you here tonight to the Plank for Keeps one year to go to the Pan Arab Pan American Games event. And as you know, folks, you're going to see out on the square tonight as well as the beginning of a fantastic kickoff for a super celebration that's going to take place in Toronto next year. And thank you all for being a part of making that a great success. Now tonight we're going to do a few things. We're going to celebrate the one year to go to the games. We're going to have some fun playing some neighborhood games, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that later. And we're going to celebrate a group of Plan for Keeps volunteer ambassadors who have completed their P4K George Brown College Community Leadership Training, and we're going to recognize and honor them. Now these ambassadors will be a key to the success of Plan for Keeps this wonderful social legacy inspired by the Pan Am Games and now a very proud Ignite program of DO 2015. This legacy that builds healthier, more active, and better connected communities through play, more particularly through playing for each neighborhood games. Just like the bachia that you saw being played a little bit earlier today, which in fact you might not know, is going to be one of the para sports taking place at the Paraman Games next year, in just one year from now. And I'd like to thank Parasport Ontario, who's here today for bringing the equipment and introducing us to this exciting new game. We have a few other neighborhood games here taking place tonight. One of them is on the far left over there, or to your right at the back. This is hosted by Jim, uh, Jim Stone at George Brown College Community Leadership Training. And this is an interactive cityscape art piece. And he's going to want to get your help in filling in those colors over there. So at some point in this evening, wander over, we'll give you an explanation of what's going on, and you can contribute to that neighborhood game about city art. The other neighborhood game you'll find out a little bit later but it's got something to do with hip-hop. Hey! There you go. It's going to be hip-hop time. Okay, but before we get going into the actual celebration uh, ceremonies for the volunteers, uh, we're going to hear from a few people who've been really important to making Claim for Keep such a success. The first individual we're hoping was able to... Oh, wonderful. He's made it down here to kick things off. I am very pleased to introduce Councillor Mark Grimes, Ward 6, in Tobago Lakeshore. He is the award winner. He's our city council champion for the show, 2015 Pan Am Games. And an interesting thing about Mark, he's taken his time out from a very important council meeting upstairs to come down and join us. But even more important, this guy's become a Zumba star as a result of the neighborhood game he hosted. Welcome, Mark. Yeah, we have a celebration here this evening to kick off. We're going to be here the next two days, Nathan Phil Square tomorrow, to bring the world to Toronto. And I'm very excited about that. 10,000 athletes and team officials from 41 countries and territories. As, as, as a Torontonian, I couldn't be prouder to represent the games and welcome these, uh, these people to Toronto. It's going to be fantastic. Hosting the games here for the spotlight are talented athletes, our volunteers, who will be the heart of the games and a wonderful, diverse community. As I saw this firsthand in Guadalajara. The volunteers are so important. Play for Keith is all about value of volunteers and community vitality. With more than 35 partners, Play for Keith provides tangible skills and experience for volunteers to become more active community leaders in their own neighborhoods. Play for Keith volunteers are about not only gaining skills for most neighborhood games all across the city, but have trained to become leaders, volunteers, and community organizations. The investments in building volunteers and community vitality being made by Play for Keeps and all its partners and generous supporters is a fantastic public and investment being made in the physical infrastructure that will support the game for the city for years to come. That's why I'm calling on my city council colleagues to get engaged in Play for Keeps, team up with Play for Keeps, the volunteer ambassador new award, and one of 15 community based workers working on the initiative. Participate and hold on to your neighborhood games this summer. Together we'll ignite the city and Pan Am Spirit. Yeah. Congratulations to all the claim for volunteer uh, ambassadors. 
being celebrated tonight. Thank you for your dedication to making your neighbor a better place and promoting Charles community vitality. Viva Toronto! Viva Pan Am Games! Enjoy! Yeah. Our next speaker is Jillian Smith, and Jillian is the Executive Director and CEO of the Institute for Canadian Citizenship. They're one of the very important partners for B4K, and many of you have met them during your community leadership training. Jillian, come on up. And for giving me the resources and the chance 
to uh, do the event, to make a difference in, in my community. And, that, and I think that's too many of citizenship, and that is me to be a Canadian. And I feel truly honored to be here, to meet everybody, and I wish that everybody have a good time tonight. And thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you. different cultures and 100 different neighborhoods in Toronto. And you know how impactful that's been? So far we've had close to 500 neighborhood games of over 9,000 participants. And that's something to give yourselves a big round of applause for. When we look at this year's Volunteer Ambassador Group, we have a couple of slides for you here. We're going to provide a little bit of context to who they are. And you'll see looking up there that almost 50% of them are youth. You'll see that 27% are newcomers, and these are people who have been in Canada for five years or less. And that 74% of them are long-term residents. So we're really getting out, and we're really engaging Torontonians from the full spectrum. Now we did something very interesting this year as well. With the help of Sharon Rodowski and her group, we did a pre and post training survey. So what we did is we actually asked our volunteer ambassadors when they were coming into the program, we asked them to evaluate themselves on a number of levels, and then we said, we're going to ask you the same questions when you finish the leadership program, and how did that turn out? And as you can see, on the leadership side, for the pre-training, about 49% of the volunteers that came in said that they had above average or strong leadership skills. After training, you can see that number's gone up to 76%, that's an almost 50% increase. When we move into networking, you can see that about 37% said they had above average or strong networking skills, and that close to double by the time it went up to 68%. And if you start following along, you'll see when it came to event organizing, we closed to double when we went from 40 to almost 80%. And in a lovely way, when we asked our volunteers to be about their community engagement, about 32% of them said they had average or strong skills, and we more than doubled that to 74%. And that's some fantastic progress through the leadership training. And this leadership training would not have happened if it wasn't through the support of George Brown College. And one person in particular who I'm going to be very pleased to introduce you to is Bidol Regisford, the Director of Community Partnerships and the Office of Partnerships at George Brown College. Come on up, Bidol. Great friend of all of ours. Bidol is going to call up all of our friends and ambassadors, and he's going to take you through this very nicely. I'm just going to ask the new graduates when you're finished, you're going to be asked to stay up front so we can have a group photo with everybody afterwards. Well, 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 we're finally here. First of all, I hope you've had some of the exotic drinks and the snacks. Have you? Enjoy it? George Brown College, we're in this for a couple of reasons. One, it's important for us to understand that access to education is important for every citizen. Every citizen. Every citizen has a right to an education. And you have chosen to become part of this, participate in two weekends out of the summer to learn, develop a skill, and go back into your neighborhoods. And we are proud to be part of that. We're also proud to be building a city, because when we do this, we contribute to the life, the vitality, the intellect, and the capacity of this city to do great and wonderful things. And you are now part of that. All right, all right. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. We're excited. We're excited. And last but not least, we want to prepare ourselves for the games next year. And you can be part of that. Think about it. The largest games ever in Canadian soil, and you get to be a participant, a volunteer in that. That's another key reason for us. But I want to focus on you, the, the volunteers. Those of you who have participated in the past and this year. For some of you, this is the first
first time that you've received any kind of recognition, a certificate, while being in this country. How many of that, for, for how many of you is that true? It's the first time you're getting something in this country that says, I've done something, I've completed it. Can I see a show of hands? Good. Excellent. For some of you, others told you, it's a waste of time. Why are you bothering about things? Why do this? Some of you were told, are you too young? Or you too old? Or you don't speak the language? Leave it alone. But something erupted inside of you that said, I am going to sign up. That's a Canadian value, by the way. We sign up. We get involved. We roll up our sleeves. You chose to do that. You chose to come for two weekends, sacrifice two weekends, come down on the TTC, which wasn't always on time, and now you're here. And I don't know if City Hall ever gets this kind of excitement, but I think tonight's probably the first time. Wouldn't you say? You came, and you completed the task, and now you're graduating. You did it. 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 You the good news is you will, you will get your certificate. What we want to do is do this in an orderly way. So, I've been instructed somewhere here to make sure that everyone stands at the front at some point or another. Where is the name? Is it now or? Yeah, so people can line up this way, go across, shake hands, and land over there. Right. So the graduates are going to congregate over here, which is your right, my left. Graduates over there, please. As a matter of fact, you're, you're the staff of George Brown wanting to organize you. Ron, we're waiting for you. Know, it's an exciting time. We're going to take you some snapshots. Destiny Dows, Maya Belmont, Takesha Ellis, Ian Hong, Sandy Takar, Bernie Bella, Dwight Lee, Rit Lee, and Delano. Sing, Carly, 
Indian baton? One tip. One tip. One thing. Thank you. Good, help me out here, people. Jasper Gill, Marianne Gaddy. Audrey Arus, Jennifer McBee, Angela Clark, Agnes Thompson, Norma Harding, Lyndon Nelson, Tasia Tasso, Tasso, Fatima Sanji, Eva Java.
Johnson Trudy. Nim Long. Ruby Ruby. Value Technic. Value as a Lydia Technic. Leon Haywood. Ramona Kami. Yala Malcolm, Cynthia Walker, Ray Nashville Almedia, Norma Aurelio, Almedia Alan Asin. So, the 
for fasteners and you can get ready. My name is Nadine Jordan. What's up, what's up? All right, how you guys doing? Two, three, four, 